open up the van. And uh, let's see the first look. I have to move the, uh, go put you right there for the time being. So I need my door to go back. This is, this is what it looks like. And you see right where those LED light, those four LED lights, that is where the roof window is going to be underneath this buffet table that I cut the legs off of and attached to the wall. All right, sideboard, that's the... So where those lights are is where the roof window will go and to the left of that is where the dome fan I hope will go and the sideboard is actually what I use for my cooktop I also plan to have a small toaster oven on there uh, on, on there that I can take on and off um, I I uh, I store and here I store my stove and my pots and pans and this is my refrigerator so the toaster oven the ISCO 12-volt refrigerator needs to be powered. Uh, I have heated floors, which I'm hoping that will be a really great feature. And the wires to that are right here. I've got it in the meantime tucked over here. And these wires right here for sensor wires and everything. So I have no idea on how I'm going to wire that to a thermostat and then it to go into my battery. Um, I also through uh, want to be able to connect up my um, electric blanket which is on this bed. Underneath this bed, this is my bed. And you can see my window there so that I can lounge and have a view and also some air in here, air circulation. That's my electrical needs. Um, I have a Jackery um, down here. And that, it's a Jackery 500. It's what I got when I first started in redoing my van or fitting out my van and I um, I plan to use that for all my iPad and all, all my devices all my small devices to charge them up so anyway this is just a little look through my van real quick and informal um, that's where I keep all my shoes and this is actually what I do my pantry so this is where I keep everything yeah yeah that secretary you see was my grandma's I left it brown so it's a focal point in the van I love it I think of my grandma and actually my whole family when I see that. And there's my teapot and this is my sink. But I don't really use it as a sink per se. I use it as a way to, uh, well this is, um, so the contents of that don't splash around. And my water is down here. 
so that's where my gray water is and then down here I have uh, two and a half uh, gallon fresh water and then I have various and sundry other filtration properties uh, of ways to do it. This goes in the front seat, that little white basket there is Imogene's bed and so I'm gonna kind of get things settled here and uh, I'll be back. So this is a gaming chair that I love to put out uh, when I'm actually camping uh, for a few days. It's just a nice little thing. I also have a pull-out deck towards the back of my van and um, so it's a nice uh, place to sit in the evening and I'll move this. But when I'm traveling on a day-to-day -day basis, I really don't have a place to store it. So what I do is it is a kind of a booster seat for Miss Imogene, my little, my little chihuahua sidekick. So we're gonna put this in here like that. Very, very complicated. And then, and then this is Imogene's little basket. Um, there is in here, I'm gonna shake it out a little bit while I have, woo! Wow, I guess I haven't done this for a while. Okay, so a couple, couple little blankets that you can snuggle up in. Oh, one more. A toy, of course. And what else do we have in here? A couple of toys. Oh, also, oh good! I've been looking for this measuring tape. Okay. And she, Imogene is also, uh, when I'm doing nail services or Reiki, um, Imogene, oftentimes the, the, uh, the, the, the client um, wants to have Imogene sit in her lap. So I have this little thing for her. It's a little, it's a little, uh, what the heck is it? She puts it on, a little coat. It says therapy doll. Oh, here, I'll let you read it yourself. So this isn't going to get her in anywhere. But I want her, well, she is uh, socialized because of my work. And so I, I do want people to uh, not be afraid of her. All right, so this is just one of those little travel electric blankets. You see there's a cord off of it. And I put it in here, in the bottom of her basket. And then, well, we're gonna put, and then put her toys in it. And then I just kind of clump the little blankets in here and she moves them around to suit her when she's in it. And so then we take this whole thing yeah. Yeah, you want your bed in here, don't you? Because you're cold. I can see you're shivering. Yeah. Okay, baby. Move back. Move back. Yeah. Come on. Can you, can, come on, come on, get in. Yes, you love your bed. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, here's your bed. All right. And then, take the seat belt. We're gonna strap her in. Strap in the basket. <laughs> but this is really tricky. I can't tell you how many times I have tried to make this work and it gets locked and then it can't get in. And there's it again. See, she's, she's a, whoa! <laughs> That's why I have to put the seatbelt on. Start over. Maybe this will work, huh? Maybe this will work. Just a minute.
face a little. Oh. All, right. All right, I'm getting closer. Third time's a charm. I know it. Third time is a charm. Because now I know what I'm doing. times. Perseverance, right loves? Perseverance. Okay, so Imogene's bed is back in business again. Love it. And now it's time to put the stuff in the van in the back since I have more room. First is unpacking the things that I brought from my room. So today is just going to be what I brought down here, and then tomorrow will be clothes and food. Is when I what I'll do tomorrow. I'm going to close this so that it. Yeah, there's no glare. All right. So let's see what I have in here. All right. First, my list. First and foremost, yes, indeed. Um, these are actually they're called wrist wallets. And uh, they come in really handy when I'm hiking or things like that. So I decided I'm gonna, I took them out, decided I'm gonna put them back in. And then the trick is where are we gonna put them? Down here in one of my drawers is, I'm gonna say a makeshift office type of a thing where if I had to mail a letter or wrap a little gift for somebody, I have the supplies down there and they're always at hand. Okay, next. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to tell you this because it's a funny story, and I'm going to actually tell this story um, again in another video. Um, and that is Depends. Now, unfortunately, I don't need them on a regular basis, but I have to tell you that if you are at a concert, um, if you're um, at some place where there's not a bathroom available or anything like that, um, uh, they, they come in really, really handy. Um, and they come in handy too if you have a roof leak in your van. And that's exactly what happened to me on my very first night that I went out in, uh, when, when I went out on my first big journey in January of 2020, which was just one year ago. But um, I want to tell you the story, just not today. Keep this in mind. Depends. You can depend on depends. So we're gonna put those in here. And my, another one of my drawers down there. I have three drawers. One drawer is for medical. One drawer is for office, and the top drawer is travel things like uh, my atlas, um, different. Let me open it up because I haven't been in here for a while. Yeah, just travel stuff, maps, atlas, um, ideas, and things like that. So they're mostly books and things, so it fits in there really nice. Okay, so uh, I also brought these shoes out. These are slides and um, nothing's better or nothing is uh, worse than being 
having to go out on a rainy day and then have to lace up your shoes or anything. So I have these, or to take the dog for a walk or whatever. These are my quick going out. So got to have these. And I'm gonna put those, they go in the in the shoe cubby, which is right there. Do I have anything else that goes in there? Uh, I'm going to throw in my super duper thick socks that I usually wear at night in bed. We're going to throw that in there too. And you know what? While I'm at it, I have these boots. I'm really thinking about parting with them. I haven't thought about them for a really long time and here they are. Hmm. Do I really want to make that decision now? I don't think so. We're just going to put this back. And this is what happens. I don't know if this is what happens to you. Is that I start getting into it and then of course, oh, puppies over here. <laughs> Oh, I could do that over there. Oh, I got a story to tell. You know, I mean, it's... <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say it's tough being me. It's fun being me. I, it's, sometimes it's hard for me to keep up with my own self, though. All right, so let's see. Oh, um, this is kind of a new thing. Is uh, treats for Imogene. I have some in my base camp, so I left a few there. I'm only going to be gone a week. And uh, because it's still the pandemic and everything, I'm really not planning on doing any traveling really, except for to go down to the Eastern Shore and work uh, one week a month, uh, like I have been doing um, um, since the uh, since the pandemic, and they told people to go back to work. So anyway, these are Imogene's treats, and they go in this secretary, and she has got a little space for her treats. Okay. All right. And then I have some uh, sanitizing wipes, which I bought to put up in the front. I do have um, hand sanitizer liquid, but um, I don't know. It's I'm going to try something different. So I'm going to put this up front. It fits perfectly in a cup holder. I'm sure they did that on purpose. Uh, okay, so I do actually have a little bit of food here. This is, I brought this back out. This is the thermostat that's going to be for my floor heat. And so, um, yeah, I, this is the thermostat. I'm going to put this back in the garage. Just going to leave that there. And I guess I did bring a little bit of food out. Uh, I'm going to make some fish cakes. So I brought some tuna fish, uh, potatoes, and spices, my Cajun spice. And what I do, instead of, uh, when I first went out, I took all my spices with me. and. And I, and I say, and it, you know, there was a lot of new stuff, but what I found is that I really was not using them, I, or all of them that I had. I was just using a select few. And so what I decided to do was make up some spice blends to take with me. And when I started doing that, I started using my spices more. So this is Cajun. And then I have another one, which I think is already in here, that has fallen over. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna have to clean that out. Oops, always a disaster. Okay. And so, and then I have this, which is uh, jerk seasoning, jerk chicken, jerk shrimp, jerk, you know. So, anyway, so got both of those in there, and I put those in. Let me get this here. That goes in this drawer right here. Little spices easy at hand. 
Okay. And tomorrow when I bring out more food, maybe I'll do a whole thing of the, well, that's what I plan to do. The whole thing of the, of the food. All right. So. So we got to put the camera down here for a bit and I got to figure out how I'm going to show you this part. So underneath here, underneath here is a place that I have my, uh, for cans and things like that. So in this, I keep, have, always have just a couple of cans of soup, just to try to do things easy once in a while. Broth, and I see that I already have some broth in here. And since I'm only going to be gone a week, I'm going to take this back into the base base camp. Um, and actually, I'm looking to see what I have in here. I can make some egg drop soup while I'm away, so that's good. All right, and let's see, and then the, and the upper one. I have um, instant coffee in case, case I'm out. I have some little packages of juice that kind of come in handy. Um, since I don't have a big refrigerator, I buy juices in smaller packages. Um, environmentally wise, I, it pains me every time, but, um, um, and I'm always open to try to find a different way. I just haven't yet. Tuna. In this is some kale that I grew and um, dried in a toaster oven, and I love kale. It's got a lot of vitamin C. Um, my bones are not exactly the best, so I'm always looking for vitamin C because I'm not a milk drinker, per se. It doesn't make me sick. It's just I'm not crazy about it, except for the cream in my coffee. That has to be. Okay, so this is going back in. Right, so moving back here... This here is right now filled with uh, plastic containers that on my last trip uh, contained, uh, I freeze, sometimes I freeze things if I'm leaving from my base camp for a week, so I freeze things. So I'll make, be making some chicken soup before I go and put it in here. I freeze it and then I put it in my cooler. and in the few days that it takes to defrost, it helps to cool my, my uh, vegetables. So we're going to take all the plastic containers back in because I'm going to refill them up and then put my potatoes here. And this is also, um, if I'm going to be out for a while, um, and my little snickety snacks, my chips and things like that, if I get two bags of anything, this is where they go. these back in the box. All right, so we are done with this unload. I will, when I pack my truck, I, uh, I'm going to uh, shoot more video and then I'll put them all together and we'll see how long it is and how many videos this turns out being.